put it in one of these compost compostable packs. And then I would be happy. Bonus if you see this. Peace. All right, welcome to a new video from a new location, the bathroom, because our new neighbors are moving in and they're exactly on the wall where I used to film. Also, I want to publish one video a week, which I didn't do last week, so very sorry for anyone who was waiting for a new video. <laughs> no one was waiting for a new video. I want to round up the plastic-free shopping from February, even though today is the 22nd. Anyway, we are pretty much set for this week with groceries, so I don't think we're gonna buy anything else. So I feel like it's time to round up and tell you how our plastic-free grocery shopping was in February. We started off on the 1st of February and we went to Kronan to the Kronan at Skeban, I have to mention, because later I went to the Kronan here in Oesterwer, or which was the old Noah Tune shop, and they have a lot of plastic. So the Kronan in Skeban has some plastic-free options, but you see that, <laughs> you can see now that some of the veggies were already gone. You know, I packed all my bags, like all my reusable bags, and uh, went there and <laughs> I didn't expect a lot. I expected it to be difficult, but as you can see, we mentioned to do it and the only thing that was or had plastic on it was the salad and we left the plastic in the store. This is also super, super, super important for you to know. If you go to a store, leave every packaging, every plastic that you can in the store. They have to pay to Sorpa to dispose of it. So that means if you do it at home, you of course pay for your for your container that is picked up every, I don't know, 10 days, but the store has to pay a fee as well. So imagine if everybody would leave everything in the store. Basically, you would take a bag like I do, and you would even take the rice out of the plastic package or the box, and you would put it in your container. They would have a huge amount of waste, and they would have to, you know, rethink their products and their packaging if everybody would do this you do make a difference by just doing what you do educating others this gives the signal of hey i don't want your packaging i don't want to take it home with me because if a lot of people would do that they would think hey a lot of people recently left their plastic in the store uh, it means we got to do something about it because then we have all the plastic we have to pay for it. So here is the first week of no plastic grocery shopping from Kronan. It's the Camembert. Well, this is like, this might be a little bit of plastic. They just didn't have anything. They had one paprika left. So I bought this paprika, this sweet potato, um, banana, tuna. This is a Mexican soup which Bonus has as well, but it's packed in plastic, so we wanted to try the one. We have mice. Uh, this is processed food, obviously, but it comes in a paper package, so without plastic. The only thing was this salad here was in a plastic package that we left in the store because Cronan recycles plastic, so this is the only thing we put into this bag and we left the plastic in the store. Then I wanted to make my plant-based milk. As you know, I have an almond cow and I'm gonna do a separate review video about my almond cow. I just wanted to test it for a while to be able to give like a, a real review, not just like first test and it's great. I wanted to test it for a while and then give you a wholesome review after after two months. So I went to Helsø Husid in Kringland because for now this is the only store that has these bulk options. So they have these fill up stations where you can get rice, grains, all kinds of nuts. And there I filled up my almonds and my cashews to make plant-based milk. And in the same week I went to Hakoi just to buy a few more fruits, as you can see, and also some peanut butter. So then in the end of this week we went to 
a zero waste or zero plastic store called Matarbuden in Hapnafjörður. We kind of decided to go there once a month because it's it's a longer way to go. Their store is based on a dream that this family had to have a store like in the old days where you can buy products that are only sold in glass or compostable materials. So here we have dried tomatoes, which is great because I'm always looking for them everywhere. Butter. And ice cream. This is skier. No, yogurt. Yogurt, but they also had skier. It's not packed in plastic. And we, we even have grinded cheese in not plastic. And this here is not plastic as well. Which also says here, Agiplast. And I totally get where they're coming from. Like in the old days where your milk was delivered in, in glass in front of your door and some other foods as well. It was based on a system of delivering, returning, reusing and also trusting. I definitely like that they explore the thought of what can we do better and how can we contribute to less plastic more sustainability and it's important that there are people out there to think about that in a in a business way we also chatted about the problems that occur when you try to remove the labels from conventional glass jars it is so hard sometimes sometimes i even give up there are glass jars with labels glued so tightly with like ridiculous plastic mixed glue it's impossible to get it off and i'm scrubbing for hours so i have a real instagram reel where i show you how i remove labels from jars and most of the time it works but i can understand that it's really time intense to scrub some glasses for an hour and that you don't want to spend your whole day of scrubbing labels of jars but from time to time if you feel like it comes off easily then why not reusing them? You can use them for food transportation, for storage in your fridge, for food storage in general, for grains to fill up in a store. There are so many things you can do with the glass jars and I would definitely recommend if you think the label comes up easily, then scrub a little bit more, uh, make the mixture between oil and baking soda and most of the times you will get lucky and you will have a beautiful glass jar. I definitely recommend you to visit Matarbuden, the store in Hapnafjörður, or to order online and just get in touch with them if you have any questions. It's a great concept that I hope will just spread further. Then I went to Kronan, I made a reel about it where there was a lot of plastic. They also replied to this, which I really appreciate. Even though I had a negative experience with Kronan, um, having all this plastic in the store, I really appreciate that they replied to this, that they had a comment about it. Yeah, so we failed in our approach to be completely plastic free. Most of our plastic waste this month comes from containers and packaging we already had at home that we just used up. A few plastic packages that we actually bought this month. It was just because we couldn't find certain foods without plastic and we decided to buy it. And do I feel guilty about it? Yes. Next month, I'm just gonna try again. Uh, we ordered from Domino's once or twice which basically led to not staying in our budget. Otherwise, I can tell you, so proud. Other than the pizza orders, we stayed within our budget. We spent 48,000 for two people in one month. If we don't buy anything else in this week, which I don't think because we're pretty well set with food. The third week I ordered from Österland Food Corp. A lot of you told me if you have an issue with going to stores and not knowing if it's packed in plastic or not, go and subscribe with Österland Food Corp, which I did. And now I'm a happy subscriber. I got my first box last week on Wednesday and they offer to home deliver or you can pick up the boxes at Skulagata. My boyfriend picked it up. 
for me. But in the future, I'm gonna get my big backpack and I'm just gonna scoot down with my electric scooter and pick it up if the weather is okay. I'm really happy with the quality tomatoes that taste like tomatoes. Can you believe that? Uh, every tomato I usually buy in Iceland does taste like water if it's in the winter time. But they had really good tomatoes, excellent fruits. Um, I have a juicer at home because I love making juice. It's a slow juicer, so it keeps the nutrition and vitamins in the juice and it's not that loud. So I really love my juicer and with all these fruits uh, I got from my food delivery, I now can make super healthy juice. And yeah, I can make an extra video about this. It's, I love it. It's something that just makes me happy. So otherwise we got avocado, salad. So the only thing that was packed in plastic was the salad and the bananas and the red beet. So the other stuff was without plastic, um, which I think is great. A lot of fresh organic products, not from Iceland. However, not all of these <laughs> products that they delivered grow in Iceland. Yeah, that was the last groceries we got delivered. So we basically stayed in our budget. We didn't go completely plastic free. We're going to try again next week. Mainly, I'm happy with the result. I wish we would have not produced any plastic, but I don't want to make it so much of a pressure to me. I also breached the plastic challenge while yeah that was the last thing that i bought um i had it in my story i bought some bananas and potatoes they were in a plastic package at bonus it was food that is expired or started to get bad and moldy that they sell in plastic packaging i put them in the freezer i cut them and put them in the freezer the rest of the bananas just gonna make smoothies with it so I like brown bananas, they're perfect for banana bread, you can still freeze them. You buy it in a plastic bag but avoid food waste or contribute to food waste and not buy in a plastic pack, um, plastic bag. So this is sometimes what I'm asking myself and then I just make a decision. It's an individual choice, it's an individual journey, which I said in my first video. So it is your decision and I think whatever you do, every small step counts. If you save food from ending up in the waste bin by buying it in a plastic bag, I think you should do it because it's better to avoid food waste in this part. Obviously, bonus, you can do better. Is it actual plastic? I thought you're not allowed to use plastic anymore. Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm gonna ask them. <laughs> I think it was banned to use single-use plastic bags, so actually the bag I bought the food in should be one of, this, uh, one of these mice bags that are compostable, but I don't think it was. It looked like a plastic bag. So if they would put their leftover food um, that is expired or doesn't look nice anymore, they cannot sell anymore for the original price, they should put it in one of these compostable, 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 compostable bags. And then I would be happy. Bonus, if you see this, please. <laughs> okay, that's it. Um, I'm just gonna update you. Let's stay sustainable, plastic-free and happy. <laughs>